everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So I am back with a meal planning and food haul video. These are always really popular on my channels and they're one of the most requested one that I get. So I thought today would be a good day because this is my official first of the month. I know I'm a little bit late and it's like the 16th or 17th, but it was a new year and it just took me a wee while to get out of Christmas mode. Had to get through all the Christmas chocolate and yeah i'm just starting from today i definitely want to get back into healthy eating making more fresh things the kids have been really really fussy recently and i just want to get them out of that with some new recipes so i've googled and looked up different cookbooks all that sort of stuff to get some ideas and i have a new little notepad from george as that which i absolutely love and i've wrote my meal plan for the week so i thought i would share that with you and then I'm going to share what I got from Lidl. I spent £66, which is pretty good for the week actually. I tried not to get too many unhealthy snacks. So, let's get to my meal plan. Okay, so let's go to the meal planning book. My hair's a mess today. Um, meal planning book. So for breakfast, we are having different variations of porridge. I think I've said this before in another video, but I find that is the healthiest breakfast that my kids can have because I can put lots of fruit with it and they always eat it. So I'm giving them porridge. Honey and peanut butter is a favourite combination just now with like banana on top. I've got them yogurts, I've got, um, I want them to have lots of smoothies and orange juice and all that sort of stuff. For lunches, I have bought stuff to make soup. Marcus loves soup. Like it is so good because he started to get a little bit fussy because he coffees all over. He's at that age, he's just turned three um, and I'm sure that's when Oliver started getting fussy as well. So at the moment, he loves soup. Like, absolutely love soup. Um, and I'm going to make the most of that and make some soup for him. Snacks, I wrote just uh, like loads of fruit, oat bars, raisins. I want to get away from them having crisps and all that sort of stuff. Now onto the good bit. Dinners, I want to make a batch cook of bolognese. And I know I'm, obviously that is a very obvious choice. Bolognese is the kids' favourite dinner. And it's just an all-round winner. Everyone seems to like it. So I am going to stick to my new rule which is if i'm making bolognese i'm making two batches of it because if i'm cutting things up i might as well make two lots so i'm going to do that today i'm going to make two lots of bolognese we're also going to have tomato and roasted veg risotto this is a new recipe that i've not tried before cherry tomatoes red onion passata basil parmesan it's very simple it's a freezable one and um, but i'll leave the link below to that number three they are having fish so we go to like a local there's like a fish van that comes around so, um, and it's got really nice fresh fish. So I'm going to get that because I know the kids will eat that and just give them that with oven chip. For four, I'm making a slow cooker sausage casserole, which I've never made before. I remember as a child, I used to hate when my mum made any type of casserole. So I don't know, but we'll give that a go. The main ingredients for this is like 12 sausages, sweet potato, tomato puree, thyme, rosemary, onion, celery, red onions, it sounds good to me and if we have that with mashed potato, to me that sounds really good so I hope they like it. And then I'm also going to make baked macaroni cheese, again another simple one but I feel like we're going to phase into this healthy eating thing and I know the kids eat macaroni cheese and I know they eat bolognese so I'll give them the bolognese and I'm going to make the macaroni with cauliflower, put the breadcrumbs on the top and just make it more of a meal than just giving them cheesy pasta. So yeah, that is the plan. Um, let's get into the main part of the video and I will share everything that we got from Lidl for £66. Okay, so I'll start with the fresh stuff we have over here. So I'm trying to make sure that the boys are snacking on lots of fruit. So I got us bananas. I'm using these in the mornings for porridge. Some raspberries. They always ask for strawberries. So I have got frozen strawberries in the freezer just to put in their porridge and stuff in the morning. But I thought I'd get some fresh raspberries. I feel like strawberries just aren't nice at the moment. Got some red seedless grapes and some normal, just the Brayburn apples. So they're cheap ones, but they really like them. And then Marcus absolutely loves juice. Um, so in the morning, I'm letting him have um, some orange juice. Normally we get the smooth one, but I got the one with bits. Just to see if you'll have that, because I think, I'm pretty sure it's better for you to have the bits in it. I could be wrong. Oliver really likes it as well. And I got one of the little um, smoothies from Lidl. These are actually really, really good. Like, this has got raspberry, sour cherry, goji, passion fruit, guarana, and vitamins. And I think that was £1.19, which is amazing, considering how much smoothies normally are. Or this is more like juice than a smoothie. Um, and then I also got this one which Oliver loves, that's a smoothie. And that one's pineapples and bananas and he absolutely loves that. So it's good for them just to have 
like a wee drink of that as a snack um, or have it with their breakfast in the morning if they're not hungry. And then other festa, I got some broccoli, I got vine tomatoes, I'm going to make soup this week and I'm going to like roast lots of vegetables and stuff so I got some tomatoes for that, I got some carrots, some basil for a casserole that we're doing, um, I got some red onion, some rosemary, some cherry tomatoes for a risotto, I got some celery for a risotto as well and then I got these big red sweet peppers for soup which I'm so looking forward to, roasted red peppers is the best thing ever. So I feel like these, I'm really hoping that these are going to be nice in soup, oh I've just realised I probably should have got the actual red peppers, I don't know, um, we'll give it a go anyway. Are those the ones that you usually have in the jar? I'm not sure, I feel like I've just totally messed that one up. Um, anyway, I got some onions, I got a huge sweet potato which is for, I think that's for the casserole, I'm going to post the recipe for everything below anyway, and I got a big bag of potatoes and a little thing of garlic. And then on to meat for the week, I got some chicken breast, this is for Andy to make, he normally will like make curries and stuff and put that in and freeze things. I got some ham as well for sandwiches, Oliver actually really likes a ham sandwich now. So. I got that. Um, I got some sausages. So this is for a sausage casserole that I'm going to do in the, the slow cooker. Never done that before so we'll see how that turns out. I don't know if skinny means that they're less fat or if they're like if it's the size wise or the fat content. I might be the fat content. I don't know. Anyway. I also got some mince because I'm going to bulk cook our bolognese this week so that I've got a little supply of it. So I got these from the frozen section, they're vegetarian crunchy triangles and they're just cauliflower cheese. I'm not really into the kind of fake meat stuff that you get in the vegan ranges, like corn and stuff isn't my favourite. So I love things like this that kind of, it's like freezer food but it's not fake meat. Um, so these will be good if the kids are having like something that I don't want to have or I could actually try the kids with these and see if they like them, I'm sure Marcus would. I got a garlic pizza bread for having on the side when we have our bolognese. This is just the box that I've got for this because I've actually put them in the freezer already. Um, but I got some deep dish four cheese pizzas. I don't know how I haven't given the kids these before, um, but I think they're going to love them. Also got the vegan sausage rolls from Lidl. These are really, really good. If you haven't tried them, I would definitely recommend them. I know I said about the fake meat, but with these ones it just feels different. <laughs> I really like them. They don't really taste that different to a normal sausage roll and the kids love them. And Andy actually, I made them for everyone when we were isolating and... Andy had one and didn't realise that it was vegan, which is always a good thing. I got these, this is like the big XL pack, XXL pack that they do in Lidl of the wee chocolate crepes. So they're really good just to have, because they're individually wrapped, you can put them if you're going out for, I don't know, going out for the day and you want to have a wee snack. Um, yeah, they're really nice. So I also got some apple and cinnamon oat bars. These are really similar to the stoat ones and they're really filling, so they're brilliant. And I got some Pettiflu yogurt. I got a three pack of these but Marcus seems to have actually run away with it. But I thought that again they would just be good for like a wee afternoon snack. I got a big bag of frozen chips. Never tried these ones but I'm sure they're good. And I also got for a wee treat. I got the kids these ice lollies which they're going to love. Because Marcus is Paw Patrol obsessed. It says natural flavour flavourings which is really good. And they're like wee paw prints so that's so cute. I got a big bag of grated cheddar which is for our macaroni cheese. Some beef stock cubes, some vegetable stock cubes and a tin of peach slices again just for like a wee snack. They did have like peach slice, peach slices in syrup but I thought if, we could, if they like the ones in grape juice then that's a bonus. Um, another little one that I got and then another thing that I got for hot chocolate or for coffee or whatever is the Sweet Freedom Chalk Shot. So it's plant based, it's low calories. And yeah, it's a good wee topper to put on coffee. I actually had the orange one before, which was really nice as well. But it's good sometimes just to have a wee chocolate one as well. Some Philadelphia or just soft cheese like Liddell's own one, which is really nice. I got some fabric softener. And then over here, we just have some white bread, some eggs. I got 12 free range eggs. We're eating so many of these just now. Like, I think Marcus has discovered that that's like his favourite lunch is eggs in some form so we keep going through them really quickly. Got a huge big bag of fusilli pasta and I also got macaroni because I'm going to try and do a proper macaroni like put it in the oven, put some breadcrumbs over the top, 
maybe going to try and put some cauliflower, although Lidl didn't have any cauliflower, which is the second time that's happened. I don't know if they just don't sell it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do a proper macaroni. So that is everything that I got from Lidl. I am going to be filming our meals this week. I haven't done that in ages, so I hope you're looking forward to that. I'm going to show how I make everything. I might actually try and film some of the soups as well and put that on as like a little compilation video maybe next week. So if you're looking forward to seeing that or if you'd like some meal inspo, just want to watch like how these recipes are made, then click subscribe and it should be up sometime next week. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat